welcome to the Young Social Innovators Ireland Awards 2020. I'm Zara King and I'm thrilled to be here. During today's event, we have nine teams who were announced as winners of their categories back in May of this year, who are now competing for the overall Young Social Innovators of the Year Gold, Silver and Bronze Awards. The team and I were lost for words when we realised that there was no refuge in Carla. After discovering this, we were determined to do everything we could to get this emergency accommodation. Our social issue that we've been working on is safety at sea. We want to raise awareness about wearing life jackets, especially with personal locator details, and try to introduce grant schemes for fishermen at sea. Our big idea was to create more awareness on this topic by designing an idea for a prototype that acts as a deterrent in the misuse of designated spaces. Our YSI name was the ASD Heroes and we exist to help all people in the autistic community feel more included in sport. The bottom line of our project was to educate people about consent, especially younger people, because people weren't really educated, well we felt that our generation isn't educated enough about consent. Hundreds of projects were created by you all over Ireland on so many issues impacting you and your communities. While the school year was cut abruptly short, the impact you managed to make was inspiring. I think it's just a phenomenal testament really to the determination and the expertise and enthusiasm of teachers that they're prepared to go outside of we'll say, the general curriculum to involve themselves in extracurricular activity that will benefit their students. And I think it represents the very best of the teaching profession. I see the value of the students get from participating in Young Social Innovators each year because it's youth led and they get a chance to have their voices heard and to be the change that they want to see. Uh, it's one of the highlights, I think, for TYs, and you get to know them on a really personal level. Um, I think in my own case, it's definitely the passion of the students. You know, they always come up with new and exciting ideas, and to see their confidence grow towards the end of the year um, is what keeps me going, that they're determined um, and that they never give up. You know, pretty much every challenge that we face in the world, particularly in the social area, uh, can be improved or it can be conquered by the ability to look at something different uh, and by bringing energy to something. So our goal with the maps for the Kingdom of Lesotho was really to create data and map out the country, map the cities, map the villages, the towns, the communities. A lot of the days when you know you don't feel that you're good enough to do something, I'll remember that I before this I did something and it succeeded and it actually made an impact and that just keeps me going on to the next thing. It was it was just surreal to be honest, you know, it was it was amazing to even just get to the finals. No other group from our school had even gotten that far before. And then just to be able to win such a prestigious award was just it really was one of the better experiences of my life. But we're very excited to see some new social, young social innovators and see their new ideas. From all of us in U3 to Clondalkin, we just wanted to say well done. Girls, whatever happens, yourselves and your team of teachers, Miss Scully, Elaine and Miss Higgins, are already a success in our eyes. Best of luck. Every best wish for the awards today. Good luck. We're really proud of you. I want to congratulate our YSI team on winning the YSI Making Our World Fair and Just Award. I wish them and their wonderful mentor, Miss Sheila Cody, the very best of luck. Okay, Jerry, are you ready to announce the overall Young Social Innovators Ireland Awards winner for 2020? In third place, for their successful project, highlighting a serious and hidden issue in Irish society, recognising their success in securing two emergency shelters in Carlow for the victims of the domestic violence. Receiving this year's bronze award is the project, the loud silence behind closed doors from St. Leo's College in Carlow and their YSI guide, Sheila Cody. In second place, for their project promoting physical and mental health and well-being, to the development of active, connected and vibrant communities in the Waterford region. Receiving this year's silver award is the project Newtown Games, Community Games from Newtown School in Waterford and the YSI guide Karen Kyo. And in first place, for their project promoting inclusion and the protection of rights of people with disabilities by combating the misuse of disabled parking spaces and through the development of an innovative prototype alarm sensor Receiving this year's gold award is the project Step Up for Accessibility from Cashel Community School in County Tipperary and their YSI guide, Katrina Ryan. Young 
social relations, you realize that. That we are very proud of you and we give your work great attention and we're encouraging many more young people to follow in your footsteps and make a difference as you do. People always rise to the challenge and we're never disappointed by their passion or their ideas. And I suppose as a society, we need to give, uh, include young people more and include their ideas and their absolute passion to do good because we'll benefit from that.